Hi, everyone. I'm Steve, here with a couple special guests, uh, JP and Ali. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Okay, so you guys are both physique competitors, right? Right. Yes, so, so I what, do, I compete yeah. in bikini. And I do a men's physique. Men's physique. Okay. Um, and you have three kids. Yes, yeah. we have Two boys and our daughter is two. She's two years old. How old are the boys? Five and ten. Okay, so um, you guys obviously are going to have a very unique lifestyle that's not like everybody else's. You know, my wife and I, our, our diets are very strict. You know, we go out maybe once a week, but we go to healthy restaurants. But I'm not... I'm not a competitor either. I mean, I competed, I competed, I don't know, 40 years ago, but um, not now. So um, I know you guys have to stay fit and you have to be eating the right foods. And uh, you're both about six months out from your next show. Is that right? Correct. Correct. Yes. Okay. So, um, well, first of all, tell us a little bit about the process and the timing and just kind of build in, you know, your lifestyle is a certain way six months out and you're starting to really pay attention about six months out, right? Right, yeah, so we just both kind of finished our bulk now, so we're kind of cleaning stuff up. Uh, we don't go out to eat much, maybe once every two weeks. Uh, when we do, we just try to keep it clean with like a steak or a chicken or a fish dish because uh, we can't keep the kids at home all the time and just keep feeding them bread right. food, so. Uh, we like to treat, right. treat yeah, them. Right. Right so what, what, how, what is your age, both of you? We're both 34. Okay. I figured you were in about your thirties, about half my age. I'm 61. So, uh, and everyone knows I'm a health club owner. You guys are in our fitness for 10 studio in sparks. That's where they are. Everyone, if you're curious. So how, so your diet is really strict. Tell us a little bit about first your diets. Um, do you guys count calories um, this far out? Um, tell me a little bit about your macros, where they are, each of you. So we have the same coach and our coach is great because he gives us a full meal plan. So really we have, we weigh out all of our food, um, our Plans are pretty similar as far as what what it is, but obviously he's eating a lot more than I am. Uh, right now, my carbs are low, his are higher, are high right now. but um, jasmine rice is, is our carb. And then we eat a ton of protein. I would say more than half of our macros are protein. Yeah, I'm at about 350 grams of protein a day right now. Yeah. You're at 350 grams of protein. Yeah, trying to build right now, so. Yeah, really and you know, protein. Um, I try to get 150 grams of protein in every day, um, minimum, and um, I weigh 170. So um, I'm usually over 150, but I've explained many times on this channel how hard that is to get that much protein. Yeah. Because an example I use is if you had eight eggs and a half a pound of lean ground beef, you're at about 90 grams of protein. Well, yeah, okay, you're every meal, yeah. I eat about a half, half a pound of ground beef. Yeah, you're steak. not even a third of the way there yeah. with eight eggs and a half pound of ground beef. So, Allie, how many grams of protein do you eat in a day? I think I'm about around 200 right now. Um, and also because when I was bulking, eating a lot of eggs and red meat, my cholesterol went up. So I'm really? doing low cholesterol right now. Um, so I eat four cups of egg whites a day. I eat ground chicken and fish, white fish. So really, that <laughs> yeah. is shocking. Because usually cholesterol has that opposite effect. You know, when you're eating more fats and protein, I, mine will go down or in fruit but i always say everyone's different you just don't know until you're monitoring it and yeah. you guys know you have to know your bodies really right. well yeah everyone's um, different because i eat a lot of red meat and eggs and my cholesterol is low 
-hmm. And when she was eating a lot of red meat and eggs, hers went up. So even salmon. So yeah, that, and you know, as bodybuilders, we get blood work done frequently just to check on those things, make sure we're always healthy because we're putting our body through a lot of stress. So if we're Mm -hmm. going to do a show, I actually just did my blood work today to do a follow-up on my cholesterol because it was high. And I've stuck to this, you know, high protein, but low cholesterol uh, diet. And so hopefully it comes out good. Yeah. So, you know, and and cholesterol, you know, you hear so many things, you know, it's crazy, you know, but you just got to kind of know your body. So how about um, carbs? How many grams of carbs uh, do you each eat roughly? Um, I don't really count my carbs. Uh, I got to be right around 300 as well, maybe more, uh, because I do take a mass gainer protein right now, and Mm -hmm. I take two shakes a day, and that's about 400 grams of carbs in those alone. So Okay, and so tell me about your calories, each of you. uh, Right now, I think I'm close to 3,800 a day. And I think I'm close to 2,200 right now. But I only eat 240 grams of jasmine rice a day, so I don't eat a lot of carbs right now. That's split between different meals. We eat each eat six meals a day, mm-hmm. so you know our food is spread out throughout the day. The shakes count; we count that as a meal, also. Right, and there there's a big difference right there. Two 34 year olds who eat multiple meals, which I also did when I was in college and younger. For sure. And there's no way I could get away with that now. I'd, I'd probably be a diabetic in a week if I, if I tried that. <laughs> so it, the body changes. And okay, so let me ask you about what do you guys know about? You probably know a rough ballpark of what your body composition is. What's your percentage of body fat each right now, six months out? Um, I'm about 15% right now, and I plan on getting as low as 4 or 5% for the show. Okay, so in six months, you're going to bring your body composition from 15% down to 4 Do you find that about 15% is where you can bulk the easiest? Uh, yeah, I think uh, any higher than 15, it'll probably up my cardio, and you know, cardio is the hardest part for me, so I try and keep it right around 15 or 16%. Um, and I think if I stay strict, that's a good spot for me to be at. I can get away with eating a little bit of snacks here and there. And uh, I think 15 is right where I need to be right now, six months out. Yeah. And, you know, you, I mean, you guys got to know your body. If, if you get higher than that, you're getting out of range. You know, yeah. if you're going to try to get down to 4%, that's a reach. Um, to get down in 4% is absolutely shredded. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's for a show, you know, that's, you're not going to sit there at 4% all right. the time to maximize, yeah, to maximize your health because it's not healthy. Yeah. Um, but how about you, Allie? So right now I'm probably about 15 and a half uh, percent wow. and I will go down to about eight. That's, that's the goal to be about eight. That's the leanest I've been for a show. Um, bikini criteria has kind of changed. So they don't want us much leaner than that. They want us to be more full with our muscle. And that's the thing for me is trying to maintain my muscle while I cut. So I'm already trying to get low now, even though I'm six months out to do it so slowly that I don't Mm -hmm. lose muscle. And I'm the opposite. I love cardio. So my coach has to tell me to not do so much cardio because I will (laughs) do two hours if I had my way. (laughs) Very okay. interesting. Okay, so you guys have a coach that helps you with the nutrition and everything. Right. Yes. Yeah, that's great. Well, I'd love to have you guys back and kind of watch the process of what you guys are going through and as you get closer to this. And uh, it, 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 you know, it, it just really amazes me because I think back, you know, when I was, you know, I've always lifted weights. I've always, you know, exercised and done this stuff. But the diet has seriously changed. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm more like two meals a day, but I'm also taking amino acids throughout the day. So I forgot to say, yeah, my protein's at 150, but I'm using essential amino acids, which are probably the equivalent to at least another 50 to 70 grams of protein. 
uh, doing the essential amino acids. So um, now you guys, you have a year round lifestyle, right? I mean, you're, you always have to stay in range. You can't just go, you know, as long as you're can competing and you're thinking about competing, you can't just go do whatever you want for a month. Right. Right. No. And, and I think this will, you know, go past us thinking about competing. I think this is going to be our life from here on out uh, way past competing. I don't think we'll ever fall off being, you know, strict. We might, take a week of vacation like we did for our anniversary. We went to Mexico. Uh, we had a little fun, but we tried to stay, you know, right around our protein goals. And we worked out every day at the resort gym. So but we wanted to, you know, that's, we enjoy it. It makes us happy, feel good. It's great when we get to work out together because that's not always the case. Right. So mm -hmm. um, being on vacation, working out is something we do for fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I remember I used to think I was nuts when I was in college. I played football and I'd be in the gym for three, three and a half hours. I thought, I, I, I remember thinking, I think this is fun. There must be something wrong with me. <laughs> but uh, you, you get into it and you enjoy it, you know. Um, so obviously, I mean, we talked a little bit before we turned this on. Your kids are eating pretty healthy um, and, and you don't just feed them junk. Um, so obviously they're kind of molding into your lifestyle. You said that you feed them macaroni and cheese, but it's not craft macaroni and cheese or something that you're taking out of a box, uh, right. because, um, JP, you do the cooking, right? Yeah, I do most of the cooking. He's the chef. <laughs> okay. Well, that must be kind of nice, huh, Allie? It's very nice. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. it a lot because if I cook my prep food, I don't want to eat it all the time. It's a little bland. And people don't realize how strict you have to be, even when you're in the off season. Um, and it's not easy to get healthy food these days. I mean, you can't drink the water. You can't breathe the air. It's like, what do you do? Right. Yeah, we pretty, we meal prep everything, you know, the, we don't ever want to be caught where we don't have food cooked because that's when you get into trouble. We have a few restaurants that we know are kind of like our backup if we do need something. Um, in Carson, when I'm at work, there's a pokey place and I can get, you know, the, the white rice and the salmon mm -hmm. and just not put any of the sauces on and I'm good to go there. But that's not something you want to do every day. Right. I mean, even like the fish, I love sushi, but you know, they're still deep frying those rolls in canola oil in yeah. poison, you know, and yeah. the fish are farm raised. They're not feet and, and the tuna, you know, you got it mercury and it's like, it's really hard to keep things really, really clean and for your health. So my wife and I, we keep things really, really clean. We're not competing, but we want to keep the mercury and, you know, the, the farm fed fish stuff out of our diets. Um, so you let your kids be kids a little bit, right? Um, yeah. yeah. But you, I'm assuming you're not really giving them processed foods. They don't eat uh, Pop-Tarts, right? No, they're, they eat health. That's probably their healthiest meal today. They eat eggs and egg whites with us. We'll put some cheese on it with a little bit of rice or, or we just got protein waffles. Protein waffles. But that's not something we would eat. If we have sugar or syrup, it's sugar free. Um, they like fruit, you know, they get a lot of fruit. For, they love fruit. For yeah. sugar. Um, and then my daughter, uh, rice cake with cashew butter on it. We go to, to Winco and get the fresh ground cashew butter. That's her favorite snack. I know if I'm eating one, I have to make two, otherwise she'll steal mine. So, they they just got accustomed to eating what we eat and they enjoy it. Obviously not everything, but for the most part. Mm. Yeah, it's if, if, if you start them with good habits, that's the food they're going to want. Um, yeah, and we try yeah. to teach them. They know they have to eat protein. That's what we're big on is you prioritize your protein, especially before school so they can learn. Um, and they, ha we have the organic Costco kids protein shakes, so they really like to drink those. 
they're all about bodybuilding so they yeah. they like to flex their muscles and really <laughs> and, uh... my five-year-old he can pose with the best of them right now <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's funny yeah um, so they they like to imitate what we do so we we find the alternative that's safe and healthy for them to do so all of you out there listening uh, JP and Ali have a healthy lifestyle. It matters. Lifting weights, um, obviously, they're far more serious than most of you out there. Um, but uh, having a healthy lifestyle in preparing your food and being in the gym and uh, planning your meals, it's, um, y- you know, you get to where you kind of like it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we we love it. It's, you know, our social circle is all of our team and the people that are in the gym with us. We have our cardio machines in the garage. So we get up at four in the morning together. He gets up Mm. a little earlier and we do our cardio together in the morning. So that's we start our day together, even though we're tired and we're just getting through it. You know, it's a moment we get together before we start our day. And then the kids clubs are nice. So the kids can come to the gym with us and they like doing that. Um, so yeah, it's, we enjoy it. And I would say during COVID, we got to experience not having it. And that, that was not good. We, yeah, that wasn't fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of miserable. Okay, so yeah. tell me about your shows, both about six months. Tell me, what the sh- tell me about the show and, and uh, what, how, how that's gonna work. And I mean, like you're going for your pro card, right, Allie? Yes. So we're both going to be doing our first national show, um, which is the level if you place a certain, every show is different, but a certain ranking will get you your pro card. So I'm doing junior nationals, which is in Chattanooga, Tennessee in June. Um, And that will be my first national show. And then in In July, I'm doing USA nationals in um, Las Las Vegas. Right. Uh, okay, so if people, I, I know you guys give little tips and you're on social media. So if people want to follow you on social media, how do they do that? Where are you at? I'm on Instagram mostly. It's J A Y P E E 99. And uh, you can follow my TikTok. I make a couple videos on there as well. Same name. Okay. It, yeah, so and you guys can I'm on, Yeah, I'm on Instagram and it's A L I period Polino, which is P-E-L-I-N-O. And I'm not great at TikTok, so I wouldn't even bother with that. <laughs> yeah, it's um, pretty interesting. I get um, I get trashed. I get called <laughs> mostly old fart and shut up old man and stuff like that. So it's kind of fun. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, um, thanks for being with us. We'd love to have you back through this process, you know, month by month, maybe. And uh, maybe keep us posted on how it's going and uh, we'll just go from there. Uh, sound good? Yeah, that Definitely. sounds great. Thank you. Okay, thanks for being with us. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll talk to you soon.